everybody and welcome to the first tutorial for my Zero Reload recordings. Today we're going to be working on a uh, dubstep wobble bass. Sounds a bit like this. And, uh, just chucked it in with like a uh, grimy pattern something I'm just working on. show you how to make a bass line that sounds like that. <laughs> like that top pitch. Right, first off you're going to need uh, the ES2 sampler. That's what we're going to be using. So you're going to open it up. You're going to come to the window itself. And uh, you want to find, click on your settings, drop down menu, go to synth, bass, then go to real fat. When you click on that, it won't come like this. This is the edit of part of it. What you want to do is on a slayer one, I think it starts off about there. What you want to do is you want to bring it all the way up to the FM to the top like that. A slayer one. Um you're gonna bring you wanna bring this down from there down to twenty-eight. Oscillator 2 to square sync 28 and oscillator 3 to sync and the little one looks like an N and change it to 14. You're going to want analog all the way down, the CBD to 50% and then the glide you're going to want it for 410 MS 410. Now there should be left there to bend and the range bend and range to link. Then you're gonna want this sounds like this. If you pause the video then you can see it. But you want it 24% on oscillator one, 30% oscillator two, and 45% oscillator three. Then uh the filter in the middle will be like that when you see it, parallel. You want to change that to series. So it's a series there instead. Bring the cut off all the way up, the res all the way down, drive all the way down, FM all the way down, res 2 all the way down. And second cut to 0 0.312, 24 dB, make sure fat's clicked, and BP. Put it on hard, distortion, soft, hard you want it on, chorus, intensity at 29, speed, 0.87 hertz. Then the tone, you want it bright all the way to the top. Distortion to 5.800 dB. Volume at 3.5 dB. And the sine level at 0 0.176. And that's that part. Second part is down here. Where you want to target. Zoom in a bit. You want to change the target. Cut off. It'll be cut off 1 or cut off 2. You want to change the cut off 1 and 2. Via. LFO2, source LFO2. Then you want the rest of these targets, you want to bypass by clicking little BP all the way along to all of them. And then that's that section done. Oh, and this, you want to bring them both up to the top. Your levels or whatever. Um, yeah, then now move on to the wave, which is this. You can have it sound like that, like this, like that, but we'll start with this one. Then uh, secondly, you want LFO2, that's what we're working on. And you want it as a one quarter, quarter beat, bring like that. But you can have it as an eight beat. Gonna want as one two. There we 
keeping it simple with one four, so that's basic. Then you're going to want the attack on envelope three to forty one. Decay three thousand four hundred ms. Sustain all the way to the top. Release all the way to the bottom. Velocity all the way up. And then that's your sound. That's how we're going to get the sound. Then uh, open up your channel EQ. And uh, if you just pause the video on this and you can copy it, I've done it from there all the way along there. If you just copy them, I'll bypass it. This is what it sounds like before. Without the EQ, that's with the EQ one. And you want to open a Guitar Amp Pro. And once again, if you pause the video and you can copy it, I've done it. American Gain, British 1 EQ, and US Broad Range. Gain, zero, bass all the way to the top, mids at 6.9, triple all the way to the top, presence all the way to the top, master 6.6, .6. dynamic microphone, centered. So I'll leave that there, you can pause it. Oh, and the output of 3.5 dB. And your bass amp, which is this. And there's American Deep, and then just copy these settings, I've done it. There's that one. 